and welcome back to the second part of this tutorial now what we then need to do we need to take care of the database okay that has to be done but there's something I need to do before that and that is to show you guys my tab number two and that is supposed to be my data grid view so let's show you guys that let's click on this okay right here is my data grid view so all you just need to do is go to tools and grab yourself a data grid view on tools that is it right there okay supposing I don't have one here let's assume there's no one you just draw your data grid view there that's that's all i did i want to delete that so this is my data grid view here okay just to show the data of each student that's all now let's double click on this very add button oh before that there's one important thing we need to do though Let's go straight into the tools. I need to connect my SQL. So right in here, you see where we have NuGet Package Manager. I'm going to go straight into the Manage NuGet Package for Solution. Click on that, and and this dialog pops up. Right inside this dialog, so you want to click on the browser inside the browser we're just gonna type in see right here where we have the search type in my sql in there and press enter there we go there's one here there's another one here but this one seems like the most well used one so i'm gonna click on that it's got two, 22 million plus on it so click on that very one and I'm going to now come in here once it's selected and let's click on project and that should select my project name I will then click on install as you can see if you guys notice the latest is 8.0.24 that is the latest so and that's the one I'm using so that's cool so I'm going to click on install there we go and there started installing now this dialog pops up so preview changes I'm gonna click on OK that's cool and right here I'm going to accept the license agreement that is it right there you must accept that there we go and now it's getting installed almost there now we should be there that's it successfully installed most of those package are now successfully installed let's see more installation is taking place that is it all done right there so i can now close this i don't need it anymore i'm done with the new get package manager so close that and right up here we now need to embed the library so scroll right up now right above the public class from one we need as follows let's say import that will be microsoft dot visual basic and dot application services there that is one down we also need microsoft.windows so i'm gonna copy all of these and import let's come up paste that in there dot windows or oh, window 32 okay grab that as well now i'm going to import the next one that is going to be my sql import my sql dot data and dot my sql client 
there we go so that is fine all taken care of as you can see it seems like they are all kind of like grayed out because it's not being used that's why so right underneath my public class here okay public class form or public class form one let's say dim sql can as new my connection my sql connection my sql connection all right one down now let's do the same thing for the commands dim so my variable sql command just like the previous one equals new my sql sql command and i'm going to import the others all done okay i have to speed that up so the next thing i want to do now is let's declare something for the connectivity so let's say dim server as string and this one is going to be equals let's say local host local host there that is done so the next one is going to be username let's copy this and just paste it one two three four so this is going to be let's call that username or username I'm gonna call that is root your username will be the root as well and the next one is going to be my password my password is one two three four five so we enter password here and right underneath here is the database itself there for my database let's call that i'm going to call it school s m s d b okay you see this s m s c b that's just an abbreviation for school management system database i don't have a database called x m s d b so what i'm going to have to do now is i want to open up my sql so let's come right here you see where we have the schema click on the schema and i will now create sms db okay i've just created my database in there so now click on apply and click on apply again click on finish your database is ready now we need to add some tables that is it right there so drop it down you see the table right click on this table and then select create and there so give your table a name my table is also known as smsdb and you see this double head arrow drop it down and right up here i'm going to enter my very first column that is going to be student id that's the very first one and the next one is going to be you see if you look at this i've set this as my primary key the primary key is not meant to be empty and it's going to be unique value now underneath here i'm going to enter first name and i'm just going to leave that as 45 virtual right underneath here let's say surname and let's enter address here address so after the address we go for gender and here i'm going to enter date of birth let's enter the student mobile details underneath here we Thing we can add email there email 
that is good so all taking care for the student the next one is going to be guidance okay for the guidance I'm gonna need your name as well so I'm gonna say G first name so guidance first name then G second name so name I mean yeah that's fine yep so name then address of this guardian g address what about mobile number of the guardian yep mobile number or mobile phone then email guardians email so that should be g as well g and you see this one there's gonna be an error here so Make that a G mobile phone as well, or G mobile, right? That is it, all taken care of now. So I'm just gonna come right here and click on apply. There we go, click on apply one more time. In total, I have 15, no, I'm gonna need one more. The student course code so that we can recognize who the student is so i'm going to cancel that instead of apply let's come in here and just enter course code cost code yeah okay let's apply that now we don't need this one that's an error there right there let's get rid of that right okay so that is it all done click on apply now right yeah in total I now have 15 15 columns so click on apply and click on finish that is it my table is ready so I'm gonna drop that down I don't need that anymore so now let's create a function up here so this very function here i'm going to call it let's say private and let's just say sub update table update table enter parentheses come in here now now get rid of that i'm not in c sharp or c plus plus okay now the first thing we want to do is we want to connect this our my sql connector there paste that in there and my sql connector equals or oh, is going to be dot connection connection string and this connection string the very first one is going to be equals the server which I have right here. Come in here, paste the server there. There. And right there. And the server that I've just connected it to is going to be equals server. So let's say plus server. Okay, we also need to connect the username so i'm going to say enter a quotation in there and in there we say plus there's a user id okay that's my user id close the user id that should be equals user id now and the user in this case happens to be username so okay as a plus username there there should be a plus sign here though right okay that is fine so let's copy all of this this could be confusing if care is not taken copy this paste it right here now the next one that will be in here that will be password so let's say password Uh, 
and that is password password equals password and password is going to be equal to password you guys can see so let's do one thing and just bring it down and come in here there we go right so that is password so let's grab this and just enter it for the database come in here paste that in there and that will be the database now okay let's say database that is equals database as well it's plus database right and there we go okay that's taken care of so right underneath here now we now need to call this connector here paste that in there and we just say the connector dot open we want it to open enter parentheses then my sql command dot so say dot connect yeah that will be equals sql come there now let's get the let's say my sql command dot command text and that is equals the following sql statement let's say select all from let's use a case with that as well my database that i call smsdb and let's run that out there that's my database okay the sql statement that will select data from there if there's any for now there's no data but let's try to read this data anyway sql read let's say l that would be read data let's say read equals whatever we have inside the sql command and that is meant to be dot execute reader now sql let's say data we want it to load dot load whatever we have inside the reader okay that's taken care of as well now let's close the reader itself let's go to reader dot close let's close the connector as well dot close and what is now i need to add the data source straight into my data grid view so let's say data grid view one that is it right there dot data source that is equals sql data table right so this that you guys are looking for we actually take care of my connection for me okay this you that you guys are looking at we take care of my connection but one thing let me copy this i'm going to use it for my add button so let's come in here double click on the add button paste that in there all right so right up here let's use try try cache anything that might cause error for my system so right underneath here i have try cache and 
let's grab this move it up here for now okay now what we want to do is when I need to call my SQL query one of the very good that I declare up there to do as follows I want you to insert into my database known as SQL DB the following and the following will include student ID comma first name comma surname all of the data let me show it to you guys all of the data that I have in here okay I mean all of the columns that I have in there I am now entering them in here so the next one is going to be comma we have address and so on guys and there I've entered all of my columns in here all right the next thing is and I want to add every single one of my objects okay the first one that i'm going to add is the student id okay that is it right here student id just copy that txt student id txt first name and so on so back in here so let's just say plus come right down here and in there let's say the value that is going to be entered is as follows okay the first value i'm going to open up parentheses and prostrophe quote unquote and right in here let's say plus txt dot text okay that is my very first one let's get rid of this that shouldn't be there okay that's my very first one okay now for the very first one taken care of we now need let's enter a quote here that should be plus plus comma there and the next one that is going to be txt first name dot text txt first name taken care of copy this just paste it here now the next one that is going to be sold in txt so name there paste that here as well okay right underneath let's come right underneath here we want address txt address dot text there this should have dot text here right okay we have address taken care of paste the next one we want the address for the student the next one is going to be the gender so in the case of gender that is cbo gender dot text so and so on guys so i'm going to just speed that up for all of the objects okay guys as you can see i have all of my columns right and i also have all of the object that we populate each cells on a row okay now let's take care of this the next thing we want to do now is we're going to say sql command we want to get that close dots close right now let's do one thing before we even close that let's say sql command that will be equals new my sql my sql command 
and in here we just need to say SQL query yeah comma SQL connect and right underneath that let's enter SQL read that is equals SQL command there we can now get that executed execute the reader and then close off the command right okay so here that is not the command closing we need to close up this okay that's fine the next thing I want to do is if there's any error okay we want the message box to to alert us okay let's say message message box dot show dot show depend on whatever you want to enter but I'm going to say ex dot message that should generate the system should generate a message for me and uh, you can put a comma in there okay now in here I just want to enter the, the title of my project we can just say school management system school management system that's another parameter let's enter two more parameters I'm going to say comma message box okay message box buttons this very one here dot okay All right and one more I say message box icon right here dot information you can use a one inside you can use whatever you want that is it taken care of so finally we also want you to dispose of everything so I'm gonna come in here and just say finally SQL connect or dispose dot dispose parenthesis there okay that's looking good but there's one more thing I want to do and that is to call my there we go the function grab that very function bring it down here I don't want to spell it wrong that's why I copied it and paste that function in here and one other thing I like to do is I like a message just to notify us that the system is officially updated successfully so let's come right down here paste the message box in the case of the message box let's enter my message in there I can just say record entered successfully record entered successfully there we go that's it all done so let's press enter here so that you guys can see that all right look at that so this message box will be displayed if if everything is goes how we plan okay so far I can't see any error I'm gonna save that there as you can see my database does it there's nothing on the table yet let's see where is the database SQL DB there we go that's the table here I just want to show it to you guys there's nothing double click on that look at that even if I click on refresh there is absolutely nothing so now let's run our project and see decision time I'm going to run it click on start okay decision time guys so I'm going to enter the student details in there and the name let's say the name is Raj and the other name is Patel okay Raj Patel 
Now, address of Raj Patel, number 13, London Road. Okay, and now let's come in here. Gender is male. Date of birth, 12-05. Ninety ninety seven telephone number of Raj. Okay, that's Raj phone number and email of Raj or Raja. And that is there we go. Guardians. Let's say the mom. And the mom's name is Mary. And here address they live in the same house. Mobile number of mom. Email of mom. Just put Mary in here. There. And the course. Select the course. And student details. This is not on the database, guys. So you can always add those on the database, this subject and so on. The choice is yours. So I, I, I'm going to just say that's it for now. So let's click on add and see if the message box displayed. Then that means things are going the right way. Click on that. No message. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's telling me the table does not exist. What is this? Okay, let's get that sorted. All right. That is strange. Where did I get that from? That should have been D, B. Okay, I'm going to stop that. All right, I have corrected that. So let's go to my art because I copied it from art as well. Yeah, okay. Add is fine. The database name is SMSDB. Okay, guys, because I did copy it, that's why I have to check. So now, run it. Let's see one more time. Okay, the next one, let's try out another candidate entirely. Let's say that one's name is uh, Godson. Godson. Okay, and the name is Naz. And in here, um, address, let's say numbered, okay, all right, then it says den, Denton Highway. Okay, and is mail, date of birth, 23. 23 and um, whatever telephone number of NAS email address got some at gmail.com and guidance that is daddy and daddy's name is let's say daddy's name is Dave Dave Nas that's daddy's name address copy that paste that in here and telephone number let's copy some of these paste it right here And mobile and uh, email. I mean, that is email. There we go. And right here, paste that. That's what is studying. Let's change it to something else. And it's a home student. And it's a scholarship as well. First degree, second year. And those are the units. There we go. All you need and the so decision time now let's check hopefully no more error click 
there we go successful look at that click on ok there now let's check out my table here there we go that's it right there okay that's fine so let's go into my database and check out the database that is the database there's nothing inside the database as you can see the name of my database is my sql db so let's click on refresh there we go those are the details of godson nas there and that is all guys so with that i'm gonna call it the end of this beautiful tutorial developed using visualbasic.net subscribe to my channel and you can also join to become a member of the channel there's a lot of benefit for channel members have a nice day guys bye